Here's your thumb rope. <laughs> so we just saw the new comedy from with Melissa McCarthy, The Boss. So everyone, what did you think of The Boss? Well, it's better than Tammy. <laughs> what do you think, John? That I... was the director's last film. Sorry, go. I I thought I was gonna get more than I than I got. You know. Yeah, I didn't. This movie. It's, I don't know, I never saw Tammy, though. I heard, well, I heard bad things, and I didn't like the, the, the first trailer all was the one with the robbery thing was all right, but the second mm. one was terrible, so I was like, nope, I'm not seeing this movie. Mm. And once I heard everyone was like, it's awful, I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm not going to yeah. see that one. But it's, but that was, um it was directed <clears throat> by Ben Falcone, who was her husband, directed, and wrote, her and her husband both wrote and directed. Well, he wrote it, and they wrote together, and then he directed Tammy. So this is basically their, I guess, in a way, their follow up to that, and it's it's a little, it's better, I guess, but I never saw the, I never saw Tammy, so but, but so far I'm not very impressed. But sorry. Yeah, it's uh, it's slightly better, but. I think eh. this movie starts off strong, but just goes I, into cliche. I don't. I thought. I never thought it was very good from the, the very funny anyways. Yeah. I thought the drama the drama was all right. The drama was all, was okay, I guess. Uh, Melissa McCarthy's a good actress. So she she has shown she's she can be a pretty good actress, so, so she handled the drama all right and so did everyone else, but I she mean, can there, be what And there so were good. there were high points like Peter uh, Peter Dinklage had some good funny moments. Huh. Tyler LeBain had some good as the the boyfriend the the love interest for Kirsten Bell was pretty good had some funny moments and some of the kids had some good moments like the the tall girl I liked her but other than that most of this movie is just kind of just nothing 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 and then occasional laugh from me or something but for the most part I What is it impressed. with all the comments that that girl gets about being tall? I mean, yeah, she's tall compared to the other the other girls, but she's not really tall for her age. Well, she actually um, kind of, she's almost like she almost kind of looks almost like she's a teenager or an adult or something. Yes. <laughs> why is she in a troop? I don't know. Mm. But I, but no, she just looks that way because I think she's just really tall. But she's really about like as young I think as some of those girls are. <sighs> but because I believe, or maybe she's held back. I guess maybe I don't know if that's the joke or not because she's kind of a jerk. <laughs> but I liked. Her. I thought she had some funny moments. And Dinklage had some good moments, though I do think this is one of the mo one of the lesser films, some one of his least funnier performances I've seen. From I didn't Dinklage. even know he was in this film. You mean neither? But I kind of forgot that he was in it for forty five minutes of the movie. <laughs> yeah, he just sort of vanishes. I mean, there were some parts where I were, would laugh or chuckle or something <clears> like that, like his one scene with the security guard. I'm not going to mention because it's a little too too uh, too. I rated for this show. I thought that was kind of funny, but <clears throat> other than that, like I just this for the most part, I was this just kind of usually seen uh, by you know people man, of our age, isn't it? I, I was just hope I was I well, don't know I was expecting a lot better, and I was just kind of sitting through the entire movie, just kind of like yeah, yeah. I expect yeah, kind of. There, there were maybe like a for me, it was just kind of there were only like half like a half dozen times where I went. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but this is another instance where mostly, the gag reel is funnier than the movie. First yeah, of, the outtakes are great. For yeah. most, mostly, I just thought there were just mostly groans, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's not necessarily the best kind of comedy. I mean, once or twice, maybe, but but even like from a visual standpoint, for, because I, I, Falcon hasn't her husband hasn't directed that many movies. I mean, this is only a second. Like, yeah, it's only a second. Length. So I guess you can't really blame him. But even like directing wise, it's kind of boring. It's just like he he just kind of does typical what direct. I mean, he's not as lazy as Gary Marshall. Like we'll talk about the tr Mother's Day trailer when we get to it. Mm -hmm. But he's not as lazy as Gary Marshall is. Yeah. But it, he he he's at least trying, and it's still his early. So I'm pretty sure maybe he'll get better as time goes by. But right now he's just not, especially he's just not that great at comedy directing com directing right now. I mean, I hopefully I'm hoping he'll get better because he seems like a nice guy and he's even funny and all this stuff. Whenever he he always has a cameo in every one of Melissa McCarthy's films. He might even I think he'll even have a cameo in Ghostbusters somewhere too. Mm -hmm. But he usually has like a cameo in all her films as like yeah. a smaller person. And though one thing I did find kind of weird is there's a lot of scenes with Melissa McCarthy making out with people, <laughs> Peter Dinklage especially. I'm just like, yeah. if I was <laughs> directing my wife, like, honey, uh, okay, you know what? <laughs> Dinklage is dead when we're done with this. <laughs> no, this... <laughs> but this is a movie, so. <laughs> Peter Dinklage is probably the best in this. Like, 
And um, there was some, like, Kirsten, what's her name, is the leader of... Not Kirsten the, Bell, yeah. No, no, not Kirsten Bell, Kirsten Scout. She was, in, she was the one who was, like, always worried about her cat spaghetti, the one who's actually in charge. Not the one who was having a t- fight with Melissa McCarthy, but the one who was actually in charge. I like the actress who plays her, Kirsten, what's her name? She's really funny. I thought she had some good moments, too. Like, there would be people I recognize who had some good moments, but it was just, like... But it was always just little small moments, and it was never like, oh, 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 oh. like it was never like anything that made me laugh. I mean, there was some, there was only like maybe yeah. one or two where I, most of it was just eh, funny. Eh. Yeah, same here. <laughs> to be fair, it's not as, it's not as painfully desperate as something like Hot Pursuit or like the other woman. Yeah, thinking, but it's on thinking of Hot Pursuit and uh, yeah, it's yeah, but. Desperate. But but still, this was the part that, like, brought the house down, but I was sitting there really confused. There's a sofa that flips people into the air once they sit on the end of it. Yeah, well, the, I like the second joke, the one where she flew through the window. But the first yeah. one, w- wasn't that funny? Because, I mean, I could tell how fake it was. It looked so, just, yeah. it just looked really fake. Also, the, tra- the trailer kind of ruined that. Well, no, also, too, th- some of the best jokes in the trailer weren't even in this movie like the yeah how true. rich am i i wanted to come down a golden eagle and i sure whatever did it like the destiny's child thing she makes it, it said it's like something about destiny's child i didn't really care about and and then also kind of i also really like the the part where it's like you you have you had kids it's like i didn't, I didn't even think you had like i thought that part, like i'm not gonna explain the rest of the joke it's like i can't imagine her without a gentle myself or something <laughs> i like uh-huh. that scene from the trailer right they didn't have it, and it's just they still had the great fighting scene with the dandelions and the whatever her brownie people were called. I yeah. like that. That was still funny, for the most part. <laughs> Though not as funny as the the opening of Krampus, but it's <laughs> still, <laughs> still, still enjoyable, I guess. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh, and it's really <laughs> funny is uh. Last weekend, God's Not Dead 2 came out, and that had the devil from Reaper, and this one had one of the guys from the main characters from Reaper, one of the good guys. Oh. Uh, Tyler, what's his name, who was uh, Kirsten Bell's love interest? He was in Reaper. Mm. He, he was, like, one of the yeah. friends of the main... He was the best friend of the main character. Him and... Well, he had, like, two... The main character had, like, two friends, and he was, like, his best friend who he knew since high school or whatever. He, but he was also in another really low-budget comedy that was really good called Cut, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. That's really good. So when I saw him, I'm like, yeah, this movie got a little better now. Because <laughs> I was just kind of mm-hmm. bored. <sighs> yeah, I should add, this, this seems to be a, a a very reoccurring trend right now, especially with comedies. They just throw in, like, oldies and just, like, any anywhere in the movie. Like, it, it plays I Want to Know What Love Is, like, twice. It, it plays, like, um, like, everybody dance now at one point. Oh, I, oh, it doesn't really fit that, at all. It's just yeah. I don't know. It doesn't bug me that much. I don't really yeah. care if pe- play whatever music you want. I don't really care. Oldies, newies, doesn't yeah. matter. I, it, I it's am annoying. nitpicky on soundtracks. <laughs> it just the only problem, like the only time I had, I hate it is when like they're playing a bunch of music that they made that were made like that popular. Or they're trying to make a new song popular or something. And they keep playing it over and over and over or yeah. something like that. Or they play it in a wrong spot that makes no sense. Like I remember, there's that uh, the Jimmy Neutron movie. I, I used to love that as a kid, but when I grew up, I can't stand it anymore because there's so many scenes where they play these new pop tunes that were popular at the time but have not aged well. <laughs> it's just like Ugh, you just can't. Kids sit of there. America. No, that, oh yeah, that cover for Kids of America in that movie was terrible. But also, there was like a Aaron Carter made a song about Jimmy Neutron that was terrible in this one scene. It's just like, ew, just did not fit with what was going on. I was just like, nope, don't need that song there. It really ruined it. And this, I didn't really care. But mainly, mainly because a lot of a lot of um, comedy directors are doing this, where it's like they gotta have a shot where somebody's driving and they're playing a song or something like that. It's just a lot of comedy directors like to do that. That's I know, like I know there was um, what was that movie uh, that you guys did not like? Uh, the, the How to Be Single. Um, at least, I mean, yeah. How to Be Single at least had some moments where they're trying to do something creative with the filmmaking wise. This was just like, nope, no, who cares? There's a joke. I'm just gonna s- set the camera right here. Yeah. Kind of boring, like. Yeah. How to Be Single <laughs> had some good moments. The... Yeah, at least they yeah. try because they tried to have some good visual like jokes or like even like some like some visual scenes were cool. <laughs> it, I mean, this the I mean, okay. they weren't amazing, but at least they tried. Were trying. I have They're, left. but this was just yeah. I don't have just much to say after this, but like, but it's just yeah. Just I felt like this is just for the most part just kind of, 
because like I said, this is Ben hasn't Falcone hasn't been directing that much, so it's he's still getting used to it. And maybe he'll maybe one day maybe he'll be an awesome comedy director or, or something like that. You never know. We, I'm just gonna wait and see what happens. Yeah. But yeah, um, but yeah. So I guess that's fi- final thoughts. So he's not he's not very great at directing his own wife. Shit. Trying to think of a joke for that one. Yeah, I mean like. Paul um, Faye can do it, which I do really well, but... One of these days, is he ever going to have her fired? Yeah. <laughs> Though I like Melissa McCarthy, I just... There's movies, just there's some movies that she's like, where she's old. Yeah, she, but... yeah it's, it really comes down to the, the direction. Right now, she's just... Don't, she's just playing, remember, like, one character over and over. Do you remember with, I Spy? I Spy. The... You mean just Spy, the one from oh, last yeah, year? Oh, yeah, Spy. Yeah, no, I, I spy, spy was that terrible movie with yes. Eddie Murphy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember oh. Spy. Yeah. Spy was spy was good. Yeah, yeah. Be- because she was, especially, even in this, she was fine because she was still, she was still kind of, for the most part, playing a normal person. Like, because, like, an identity thief in, like, Tammy or something, she was playing kind of an idiot. Yeah, and in, so. In uh, Spy and this one she was playing a bit of a smarter person i mean she was still and this was still a little stupid but she she was still a lot smarter because she held she held a successful business and she she made a successful uh successful yeah business for herself she didn't just like i mean you don't get there by being an idiot you don't go duh i'm rich now (laughs) (laughs) unless of course your father's rich then then you can be stupid all you like but (laughs) Your, your spy was a movie that didn't I guess I should give my thoughts on that movie because we actually did do a video for that one, but it got erased somehow. A Spy was a movie that didn't need to be desperate at all just to make every single scene funny. Like also, Melissa McCarthy like was like the like smartest the part thing where, in that movie too. Yeah, like, like uh, the, the part where they, they think that that one spy died, they didn't they didn't feel the need to find some way to make humor out of it. Unlike in Hot Pursuit, when Reese Witherspoon informs Sofia Vergara that her husband died in a shootout, and she lets out this really shrill, prolonged whine. And yeah. it's uh, yeah. ear poison. Ear poison, yeah. <laughs> yeah and it so, really can be the direction. But yeah. Paul Fig's a great director. That's why I'm excited for Ghostbusters, even though so many fans of it are like, I hate the trailer, yeah. it's not good. I'm excited yeah, for so Ghostbusters, too. But, but yeah. Um, also, Crimson. Chris Hemsworth, is it? Isn't it? Isn't that Chris? Yeah, Hemsworth? Chris Hemsworth. So. Oh yeah. He's, though I, I, I was kind of wondering if though he's not a, he, though he's not really that great of a draw though because he's his last couple uh, most of his films by himself have been flops. Like, even yeah. Thor, even the, his Thor movies have been like the lowest earners of the Marvel movies. That's true. <laughs> I have a feeling that Huntsman: Winter's War is going to be a flop. Mm. No, I'm still. I'm still th- looks. I think it looks kind of interesting, especially because it got Riz Stewart. Yes. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. I like Kirsten. She can be a good actress, but she's just like in that in the Snow White. She just did not give a crap. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. so, I'm, so the, without her, I'm oh. I'm I'm looking forward to it. When was the last good Chris? Uh, the American Ultra uh, was pretty good. I liked American Ultra, and I heard Cap. Cap still, Cap, Alice was fine. I heard uh, Camp X Ray was really good. That came out last year. Okay. Or before. Okay. So, uh, I was asking, I was trying to, when was the last good performance you've ever seen her get? Yeah, still Alice. Still that Alice. Was, that she was, was a couple good. years ago. Yeah. That was, and then Camp X Ray. Well, oh, wait, over Panic. A year ago. Oh, yeah, there's Panic Room. She was in Panic Room? Yeah. Yeah, she's also in, uh, that was her first movie. She's also oh. in that movie, uh, um, what it, it's like, it's based on some book that was oh, really popular. Thera? No, no, not Sathura. There was like, it was On the Road or something like that. She mm. was on that. That was based on a book. Yeah. But she mm. was in that too. Yeah. Uh, Sathura, well, she was alright. She was just being a teenager in that, so she was fine. Yeah. Well, we're getting to other movies before yeah, getting Final we're getting to the boss. So let's, yeah. get, let's get to the, let's, let's just finish let's, this up. It's that forgettable. Yeah. <laughs> you want to talk about I, other I think things? This is, when you compare it to the last Melissa, what? That was Spy. The last yeah, one we Spy. Saw. Wait, yeah. no, I think she had another one before. I think she No, I'm talking one. about the last one we saw. Oh, yeah. okay. well, I saw Tammy yesterday, and Tammy was horrible. Uh, yeah, that was from, also from the really same director. Does, yep. This really does, and show, producers. This really does show how, how, um, and how di- direction can help. Yeah, like good direction. Yeah. Like Spy was, ugh, Spy yeah. was good. This, yeah. not I so actually much. do want to see the Heat. That was another Paul. F- a fig movie with that was uh, I saw that one. That one, that one was all right. Bridesmaids yeah. was pretty good. He directed that one too. All right, 
Bridesmaids was pretty good. Um, I the Heat was all right. I, so check it out if you want to. So I would still say check out the Heat I for yourself, so you think. But I'm just saying it's not. It's it was. I felt it was okay. But anyways, all let's right. get to the rest. We, yeah, let's, let's. Okay, so. What do you give, Pop? It's, yeah, it's really just a lame, forgettable comedy. I give it a D. Okay, what do you think, John? I give it a C minus. I give it an A A plus plus plus. No. <laughs> uh, I, I'll just, You're a week late. I know, yeah. Ah. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna give it um, an as and low rating as you guys. Higher. I'll just give it probably a C because I didn't hate. Like I only give season season just okay. Like C for me. Like C minus and D would mean I hated it. I don't really for me anyways would mean I would I didn't like yeah. it was I hated it. But I just but like not as much that I would give it an like, F. Peter Dinklage C. was. Peter Dinklage was a pleasant surprise, but even he can't give this movie higher than that for me. <laughs> but yeah, C. Um, but other than like, but it's it's yeah, just for me, C. So let's get to the trailers. Yeah, um, we got a few to talk about. Yes. The one one in particular, Keanu. <laughs> yes, oh I saw that. No, I saw the, <laughs> the Red Band trailer for that one though. I saw the oh, Red, Band, Red trailer. Band trailer. Yeah, I saw. I don't want. It's not that bad, I don't think. But I don't. Re- I think it's just kind of violent a bit. That's about it. But right, it's not. Well, there's there nothing, there like, there's nothing like Brothers sure. Grimsby. Don't worry. Okay. Um, <laughs> trust me, because if it wasn't yeah, the there... Brothers Grimsby, there was something that would stick out Although, in my mind, and I, really... I would tell you. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Although, so... if, it, if someone threatened. If someone took that, trust me, I would hunt them Because trust me, if I saw a Red Band trailer and I said it's not that well, yeah, bad, yeah. it's because I forgot Dude, if there was any... It's because... Because, like, the only Red Band... Like, the only... If it, if it was something like the Brothers Grimsy, I probably would have warned you about. But what do you guys think of the county? I think it looks well, good. Or... It looks I, good. Yeah, it looks good. This, this trailer had me awing and laughing at the same time. Yeah, I think my favorite thing, especially, is because, like, they're, you know, the, the typical type of, like, white ish black like the they're they're black but they kind of act white they kind of they're kind of used to white culture and all that and uh, going to like these gangster guys and they're just like, they're, yeah. like they have to pretend Acting to be gangster really... yeah, yeah. The, it's, it's it's the kind of it's the kind of movie where they might be searching for like an actual missing person they're going after a kitten yeah, and, and we see There's... the cat like running around dodging bullets Dude. and wearing Dude. a little cat, wearing hey, a little, Wick... little little gangster bandana thing. It's so cute. Hey, yeah. if John Wick didn't taught me anything, it's it's one thing. You don't mess with a man's pet. Yeah. Yes. Ever. Right. No yeah. call for that. Still haven't seen John Wick. It's really good. Yeah, I have it on Blu-ray yeah. and deep. Well, it's deep. It's a combo pack thing. Okay. But, Basic... um, okay basically, so... he ki- kills people because they killed his dog but yeah. yeah but i think it'll yes I, what do you guys give yes maybe no me yeah yes. probably a yes yeah sure okay so what what else was there, there was... um so so that comes out april 29th also on april 29th we got mother's day yeah. uh, oh that i looks... like jennifer aniston but even then... i like jennifer aniston Ju- well not julie roberts so much um no, no, and no, some of the right. other Britt robertson's also yeah Britt robertson and there's uh, that jason one british sudeikis. guy i like jason sudeikis yeah. as well there's that one british guy that no that's like in Jim there. Broadman. Yes, but um, I think he's good. He, but it just it just looks so like there's nothing funny about it because Gary Marshall is just like he's like I'm not Ben like it's about Ben Ben Falcone he's not a, a Falcone or whatever isn't isn't as bad. And Gary Marshall is just so lazy. He just yeah. he just sits around and goes okay, joke. I'm just gonna sit down, <laughs> and the camera's yeah. just gonna hold steady, and well, you fall down on your butt, mm. and that's a joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get it? He fell. Yeah, it is. A, it is a groaner where I just uh, think funny. it's Jason uh-huh. Sudeikis who falls uh-huh. like flat on his back yeah. off of a, off of a. And that wasn't even funny. Porch. Like it's one of those trailers where you can obviously like just. I just whenever I see that trailer, whenever when I see that trailer, all I see is Gary Marshall going. This is the part where you laugh now. <laughs> you just, you know, like, like some. You mean like, you mean like holding up the applause sign, but instead of applause, it's a laugh. Uh-huh. Sure. Yeah, yeah, like laugh track. Like, it's. Yeah. I mean, it's not as bad. Like I've seen worse. I've seen like much, but it like the the perfect match trailer was. Awful. No, like that's the, probably the worst trailer I mean, I've like, seen this year. Like I said, I like Jennifer Aniston. Yeah, but I like a lot of the she's not, Even she's not enough yeah. to 
pull me into this movie. So no, he's just I don't like. I him. Mean, I'm a no too, but um, Sorry, but it's Gary. mainly like I said, Gary Marshall. He did like you know the Princess Bride, Princess Bride two. Really? Yeah, the Princess, Princess Diaries, two. not Princess Bride. <laughs> no, the Princess Diaries. No, that that's Rob Reiner. No, sorry, the Princess yeah. Diaries two, which is awful. I, I was confused yeah. I, because I heard the, that Princess Bride is a good movie. No, Princess, sorry, yeah. I mixed up. Um, but the, he also did like Pretty Woman and like yeah. Valentine's the, Day. All his movies have been in. Eh, well, Valentine's Day and New Year's Eve, I have a confession to make. I, I don't mind them. I, d- so, I whenever I've seen them, they I, they feel exactly. I think we should move on. We we no, hang on. Let me. Let's not yet. But let's do the trail. That's right. We can get back. But I'm just. It's just that I feel. I felt this the same way when I saw the trailer for those movies too. That it just felt. This feels exactly the same. So mm-hmm. yeah, I, uh, no, for definitely. Okay, so what else did we see? Um, Mike um, and Dave need wedding dates, which I've. Uh, you guys haven't seen that many times, but I've seen a lot. I've seen that trailer many times. <laughs> I only. This was the first time I saw <laughs> because, it. Because uh, because there's a lot of movies you guys did not come to see with me where they played this trailer. So okay. I've seen this one a bunch mm-hmm. of times. What do you guys think? Um, I think it looks funny. <laughs> yeah, it does kind of. Except for. There are some moments where Zac Efron's phone is doing a little too mm. goofy, and I think that's the director's fault. It's like, okay, I need you to yell. Yell. And like, it yeah. just. Zac Efron can't. Like, like I like in Neighbors, he seems pretty calm. Like he's actually pretty good in that because he's not going. Oh, I yeah. never get riled up. <laughs> that was terrible. And then the scene where he cries yeah. and like spit comes out. I thought that was terrible. Yeah. The one, the one part that when I when I first saw this trailer, I was hating it at the beginning, up until um. Aubrey Plaza and um, what's her name? Anna Kendrick. Anna Kendrick show yes, up. Yes, I knew. That's that's I knew that's when they those. showed up. I was like, okay. Now, then I was starting. Then, then that's when the trailer actually picked up, picked up for me. <laughs> now that when I've seen it, I actually enjoy the rest of it a bit more, except for the the first joke where they fall off the trampoline it was kind of lame. Mm, but the yeah. the part with the the bottle rocket going into like the the RV and exploding, I love that scene. <laughs> and the burn victim Barbie <laughs> by Ken was a great joke too. Yeah. And of course, the the scene where they're in their the hotel room is funny, and then when they beat the them at the they're like we're gonna let them lose their dignity, <laughs> <laughs> and they and they win. Yeah, they, I yeah. thought the I don't the know part where uh, yeah. the part where the the woman gets hit in the face of by that that tire from like the dune buggy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was actually I was actually I was actually wondering what that guy's face must have looked like in Transformers Four when he gets hit in the face by that. The tire from the uh, from Jack Rayner's Chevy. Yeah, I just, I mean, like one thing I do want to say though, definitely, Anna Kendrick looks really good in that movie. Like yeah. she, I like, I don't, I'm not saying like, I can't I think, think of anywhere where she's not good. Like, well, no, I'm the attractive. I mean, like she looks really attractive. Like, I'm, yeah. okay. she, like she usually does look good, but like I think like that's like where I think this is probably one of the best movies she's looked in, okay. <laughs> probably. Yeah. But so, what do you guys give it? Yes, maybe or no? Yes, uh, probably I mean, maybe. If only- I'm gonna give it a mix. yes, if only for Anna Kendrick. Oh, uh, yeah. I like Albury Plaza better than her actually. And uh, Albury really Plaza, not... she's been in a bunch of stuff, Pro- she... which I've probably seen because I recognized her. She was in like Parks and Rec, and um, oh. she was also in like uh, what the guy directed Jurassic World's first film, um, um Safety, not... Safety Not Guaranteed. She was in that too. She's really funny. Like, she was also she was okay. also one of the only bright spots in Dirty Grandpa as well. So that was pretty good. But yeah, so I give that one a um. Well, since I've seen Don't it a bunch of times, I guess to give it a yes, but it's just because Anna Kendrick and Albury Plaza look great oh. and look really funny. Though Zac Efron and that other guy who I've seen in a bunch of stuff, I'm not sure about. Mm. And of course, the ending joke is just the best. You're, she looks like perfect to Barbie. <laughs> 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 and the guy is like, <laughs> yeah, he's like, mm, that sounds great to me. <laughs> like, <laughs> which oh, and speaking of like Barbie and Ken, you know they actually made Barbie dolls of Batman and Superman. <laughs> <laughs> You're not kidding. We get, for what? Batman v Superman, they did that Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman all Barbie dolls. <laughs> what you, like, why would girls want to play with that? Oh, I love you, Wonder Woman. <laughs> play, house, yeah. play house with Batman. Honey, I, I, I'm home. No, no, Batcave. <laughs> yeah, head to the Batcave. <laughs> yeah. like, <laughs> he does the bat. Why? He does the, <laughs> the Barbie yeah, dance. Ew, a spider. Wait, I got a big headache. Careful not to knock the phone down. Uh, yeah. We did, okay, we so. did, thank God we didn't. But Sorry to anyone who's nostalgia critic fans. Your dudes are probably, a bunch of them are probably going to go, You stole it! <laughs> He's playing a. Yeah. He's making an homage. Yes. Get it through your head. Okay, so. Okay, no, Ghost, so. Ghostbusters? 
Um, we already we, talked, we about, talked about Ghostbusters. I have already. not during Batman v Superman so. and uh, ah. ten, and Ten Cloverfield Lane, two movies you yeah. missed, which were yeah. really good. Well, Ten Cloverfield Lane was really good. Be- yeah. Batman v Superman's all right. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. We got a uh, Hardcore Henry and Demolition. Yes. And I've already seen Hardcore Henry, and I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty satisfied with it. So <laughs> it's gonna okay. be that's his glad to see it again. I, I trust this guy's recommendation. Yeah. Okay. Though Demolition, though, so far doesn't have great reviews, though, which I'm a little nervous about, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah. So yeah. It's kind of like there. the joy of this year, right. yes. having uh, average reviews from a highly acclaimed director. Oh, and Nick is gonna, wants to come along. Well, though, the thing is, though, I don't, the director of Demolition, I don't think he's that great of a director. I mean, he, he has, he said good, his films have always had good performances, but directing-wise, they've been okay, I think, for the most part. Like, have you seen his other films? Uh, yeah, I did. I thought Wild was great. Yeah, I liked Wild up until like the last part, but we're done. Sorry, okay, we okay. Every time. we'll talk about it later. We'll be back tomorrow.